Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. We are on day 1,962 of our trek, and it is time to explore another nugget of wisdom, which includes an inspirational quote, along with some wise words from Gramps for today's trek. Wisdom is the final frontier in gaining true knowledge. So we are on our daily trek to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. This is Gramps. Thanks for coming along on today's trek as we increase wisdom and create a living legacy. We are told in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 16, how much better to get wisdom than gold and sound judgment than silver. If you apply the words that you hear today over time, it will help you to become more healthy, wealthy, and wise as you continue on your daily trek of life. So let's jump right in with today's nugget. And today's quote is from Helen Keller, and it is... Although the world is full of suffering, it is full also of overcoming it. So today's nugget is overcoming suffering. As a result of sin in the world, we see all creation affected by it. There is suffering in nature, suffering in the animal kingdom, and suffering among humans. If we were to focus on suffering, the earth would be a most unpleasant place to abide. But even though mankind chose to rebel against its creator, by God's grace, we also know and understand that he provided grace to everything he created. All creation has much beauty from the rising of the sun to its setting. There is beauty in the moonlight and the countless stars and galaxies in the skies. There is beauty in flowers and plants which provide us with sweet smells and nourishment. There is beauty in the animal kingdom and indeed in humankind. In today's world of advanced medicines and technologies, we have overcome much of what we experienced as suffering in the past. With technologies increasing ever more rapidly, much of what we see as suffering today may be resolved in the future. Even though illness and poverty are being lessened, the absolute cure for what we consider suffering is to be able to have peace amid suffering. The peace can only be found in Jesus Christ, who suffered and died for us so that we might have eternal life with God through Christ. And our passage for today is Romans chapter 8, verses 18 through 25. Yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal to us later. For all creation is waiting eagerly for that future day when God will reveal who his children really are. Against its will, all creation is subjected to God's curse. But with eager hope, the creation look forward to that day when they will join God's children in glorious freedom from death and decay. For we know that all creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. And we believers also groan, even though we have the Holy Spirit within us as a foretaste of that future glory, for we long that our bodies be released from sin and suffering. We too wait with eager hope for the day when God will give us the full rights as his adopted children, including the new bodies he has promised us. We were given this hope when we were saved. If we already have something, we don't need to hope for it. But if we look forward to something, we don't have it, we must wait patiently and confidently. And as you ponder this nugget of wisdom for yourself, please encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,961 treks or read the Wisdom Journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. In addition, I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day's trek will be downloaded to you automatically. And finally, if you'd like to receive our weekly newsletter called Wisdom Notes, please email me at guthrie at wisdom-trek.com. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek Podcast and Journal each day. And as we take this trek of life, together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, then to others generously, lead with integrity and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.